You know, do what people pay you to do. You know what I'm saying? They pay you to play, not to rest on the sideline and have your giggles. You ain't Kevin Hart. You don't make funny money. What's up, guys? Welcome to some more TBC content. Now, we just watched the MVP talks. So I'm not going to get into that because I said everything I had to say in that video. Now we're talking about the first take. want to talk about apparently Chris Boss is um, comment, commenting on the LeBron and Kyrie Irving resting thing. I, I'm, I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know what he said. But, um, yeah, we're going to get into it just to see exactly what he said and what happened. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's get it on or I should say former player for that matter, Chris Bosh would give anything to be playing right now. Bosh was forced to leave the game due to blood clots, so he has a simple perspective on the NBA's rest or play debate telling the Associated Press this. I can see it in some instances, but then at the same time, if you can play, play. When there's so much work to do, it's kind of hard to see why guys would take time off. With that said, from a player mm -hmm. side, the schedule is intense. But I guess that's part of being in the NBA. And I think what happened was when young guys started saying, oh, rest, that kind of brought it to a tipping point a little bit. Now, keep in mind, LeBron James and the Cavaliers' big three sat out during Saturday's primetime game against the Clippers. Stephen A., how should LeBron feel about his former teammates' comments? Well, he shouldn't like it uh, because in the four years that they played together in Miami, Chris Bosh missed 11 more games than LeBron James in four years' time. LeBron missed a grand total of 14 games. Chris Bosh missed 25. I think D. Wade missed like 64, but obviously he was injured. It wasn't just rest. He was injured and trying to work his way through that. But LeBron only missed four, 14 games in four years. And so Chris Bosh, who missed 25 games, if you're mm. LeBron James, you might, you might like be a little bit salty about yeah. that particular Fair enough. But let me take it a step further. I also want to but their athleticism is not the same. Their fitness James is not the same. Being slick here either. Uh, I, I mean, even though Chris Bosh isn't the one to speak, I yeah, don't have a problem with Adam Silver. I don't have a problem with James Harden, who hasn't missed a game this year. Russell Westbrook, who has not missed a game this year. I have no problem with any of those dudes if they choose to sit up there and remind everybody. It's about showing up to work and, and, and playing uh, every single day if you can, unless you're not healthy enough to do so. And, 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 you know, I look at this story, and listen, we all know that LeBron James is a superstar, not mm -hmm. just a superstar player, but a superstar person. His philanthropy mm -hmm. is well documented and what have you. He deserves credit for that. But LeBron James also needs to get credit for being shrewd as hell. Because in the aftermath of his highly insensitive and arrogant comments about yeah. how the NBA can't do anything about players missing games. That was very arrogant. That was, that was stupid of him. He shouldn't have said something like that, in my opinion. Because of that comment, conveniently, we hear something about his new sneaker line coming out and how he got folks from the Cleveland Clinic, brought some kids over there to the Cleveland Cavaliers practice facility and all of that stuff. His heart's in the right place. He does tremendous things for the community. I'm not taking away any of that. I'm just talking about the timing of the story. Because in the end, what it comes down to is this. No matter what you do, LeBron James' character is not to be questioned. No. His greatness is not to be questioned. But no. you are highly insensitive towards the fans when you said what you said. Yeah. The way you that's the, that's, when you missed the, that's the, that's the that part that was a bit bit. This year. A little bit, sitting on the sideline, little bit ironic, let's just say, like chilling with your teammates while fans, you know what I mean? Play and yeah, paid to come see you play exactly. All of those kind of things are the kind of things that we need to be paying attention to. I appreciate his philanthropy, we all should, but we should not forget the fact that you're a marquee, and with being a marquee comes showing up on a damn basketball court and acting like a marquee. Yeah, um, for real. Chris Bosch's point is that if you're healthy, you should play. And for a guy whose health has not permitted him to play basketball anymore, I can understand that point of view. Sitting there alone with his thoughts, thinking if only I was healthy enough to play, I'd do anything to be out there. I yeah, get exactly. That. I get that He's from Chris Bosch. He's not wrong. He's view. just saying, like, look where I am. If he was like me, you'd regret what you're doing. You would not be resting, you know what I'm saying? Competitive <clears throat> interest for your team. Yes, LeBron James is part of the NBA, but he plays for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And if I was a Cavs fan, I would have no problem with LeBron James sitting down because his first ethical responsibility is to try to win a championship for the Cleveland Cavs. So let's look at how successful he is at doing that. Yeah, He's but the fans want him to play. They want to see him play. You think the Cavs... Like, come on, man. 
it's the oh my god like I'm just tired of hearing this dude talk bullshit like for real for real he had a heroic all-time great performance should have been the mvp even though they lost in six games to a great max game stick to the motherfucking point then, man this guy always going off track man. In nba history when he had his help when his running partners weren't hurt down three games to one on the road against the greatest team by regular season record of all time came back and won as a result of his play and was the mvp so the idea to as a result of Kyrie's play. LeBron James, the way you're going about your All right, business, Kyrie's play. You should do it differently. He blocked Iguodala. Yeah, but Kyrie made the three to win the game. Is the business interests of the league. <sighs> the Mate. But his ethical responsibility primarily is to the Cleveland Cavaliers well, and their pursuit of a championship. And in that regard, how could you possibly criticize it, Max, Max, to be clear, you and I have a difference of what his ethical responsibility ultimately is. You say it's winning a championship. I say it's showing up to work every day first. That's what I say. This I say winning a championship first. I understand. That's why I'm weird on two opposite ends of the place. Because in order to win that championship, you first got to show up and show up to work. We got to show up to work today. Cal Ripken is celebrated, you know, it, uh, for perp in, into perpetuity. Why? Because he showed up to work every in day. Baseball, the fans paid to no see him play cuts. for 162 baseball, games a year, and he showed up. That's all I'm saying. In baseball, sometimes in the middle of the season, you know, in the last Yankees dynasty, oh, uh, Mariano Max. Rivera. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, Mariano oh, stop. Rivera <laughs> might be available, Please. and Joe Torre may have looked and said yes. I could use him today to seal this victory and the fans would get to see him. But I need to rest his arm because we're going to make a deep playoff run and we need to win then. And Max, they won the World Series every year. Max, it's so too early the right for the baseball the analogies. Can we wait to the second hour for the baseball analogies? I can't stop it. It's not great. It's not great. It's not great. It's not great. But it's true, dude never stays on motherfucking track, man. He always swerving to the left or some shit, man. Stick to the motherfucking topic, nigga. Damn. God, like, okay, he, he he's talking, like, with Max, he's like, he, he makes sense, but also he talks so much shit, like, you know what I mean? Yes, okay, he wants to win a championship, but dude is motherfucking healthy, you know what I'm saying? If he had, a, like, a little sprained ankle or something like that, and he wants to rest, yes, nigga, rest until you're healthy again, and then show up to work, you know, do what people pay you to do, you know what I'm saying? They pay you to play, not to rest on the sideline, have it giggles. You ain't Kevin Hart. You don't make funny money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get back on the motherfucking court, man. That's what niggas be paying to see, man. Shit. Damn. Anyway, I, I already talked too much about this, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this bullshit anyway. I think Chris Boss makes a lot of sense. Like, he's injured. He can't play no more. So for him, he knows what it feels like when you get the opportunity to, to play, but you know you physically can't. And when you got the opportunity to play, you choose you choose not to. He, he feels it. He was like, what the fuck? Like, if I was in your shoes, I'd be playing all the 48 fucking minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. But anyway, if y'all like this video, man, hit the thumbs up button. Um, comment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, follow me on Snapchat. Uh, Instagram, Twitter as well. I'm always on Twitter. Uh, subscribe. Wow! Because I do this all the time. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace out.